And the men of Ephraim came and said to him, Why did you not send for us when you went to war against Midian? And they said sharp and angry words to him. And he said to them, What have I done in comparison with you? Is not that which Ephraim took up after the grape cutting better than all the grapes which Abiezer got in from the grape cutting? God has given into your hands the chiefs of Midian, Oreb and Zeb. What have I been able to do in comparison with you? And when he said this, their feeling about him became kinder. Then Gideon came to Jordan and went over it with his three hundred, overcome with weariness and in need of food. And he said to the men of Sukkot, Give bread cakes to my people, for they are overcome with weariness, and I am going on after Zeba and Zalmana, the kings of Midian. But the chiefs of Sukkot said, Are the hands of Zeba and Zalmana even now in your hand that we are to give bread to your army? Then Gideon said, Because of this, when the Lord has given Zeba and Zalmana into my hands, I will have you stretched on a bed of thorns of the waste land and on sharp stems, and have you crushed as grain is crushed on a grain floor. So he went up from there to Penel and made the same request to the men of Penel. But they gave him the same answer as the men of Sukkot had given. So he said to the men of Penel, When I come back in peace, I will have this tower broken down. Now Zeba and Zalmana were in Karkar and their armies with them, about fifteen thousand men, those of all the army of the children of the east who were still living. For a hundred and twenty thousand of their swordsmen had been put to death. And Gideon went up by the way used by the people living in tents on the east of Nobai and Jogbaha, and made an attack on the army when they had no thought of danger. And Ziba and Zalmana went in flight, and he went after them, and took the two kings of Midian, Ziba and Zalmana, and put all the army to the curse. Then Gideon, the son of Joash, went back from the fight, and taking prisoner a young man of the people of Sukkot, he got from him, in answer to his questions, a list of the chiefs of Sukkot and the responsible men, seventy-seven men. So he came to the men of Sukkot and said, Here are Zeba and Zalmana, on account of whom you made sport of me, saying, Are the hands of Zeba and Zalmana even now in your hand, that we are to give bread to your army who are overcome with weariness? Then he took the responsible men of the town and had them crushed on a bed of thorns and sharp stems. And he had the tower of Penel broken down and the men of the town put to death. Then he said to Zeba and Zalmano, Where are the men whom you put to death at Tabor? And they gave answer, As you are, so were they, every one of them was like a king's son. And he said, They were my brothers, my mother's sons, by the life of the Lord, if you had kept them safe, I would not put you to death. Then he said to Jether, his oldest son, Up, put them to death. But the boy did not take out his sword, fearing because he was still a boy. Then Zeba and Zalmana said, Up, put an end to us yourself for you have a man's strength. Then Gideon got up and put Zeba and Zalmana to death and took the ornaments which were on their camels' necks. Then the men of Israel said to Gideon, Be our ruler, you and your son and your son's son after him. For you have been our savior from the hands of Midian. But Gideon said to them, I will not be a ruler over you, and my son will not be a ruler over you, it is the Lord who will be ruler over you. Then Gideon said to them, I have a request to make to you. Let every man give me the earrings he has taken. For they had gold earrings, because they were Ishmaelites. And they gave answer, We will gladly give them. So they put down a robe, every man dropping into it the earrings he had taken. The weight of the gold earrings which he got from them was one thousand, seven hundred shekels of gold. In addition to the moon ornaments and jewels and the purple robes which were on the kings of Midian, and the chains on their camels' necks. And Gideon made an ephod from them and put it up in his town Ophrah. And all Israel went after it there and were false to the Lord. And it became a cause of sin to Gideon and his house. So Midian was broken before the children of Israel and the Midianites never got back their strength. And the land had peace for forty years, in the days of Gideon. And Jeroboam, the son of Joash, went back to his house and was living there. Gideon had seventy sons, the offspring of his body, for he had a number of wives. And the servant wife he had in Shechem had a son by him, to whom he gave the name Abimelech. And Gideon, the son of Joash, came to his end when he was very old, and his body was put in the resting place of Joash his father, in Ophrah of the Abizrites. And after the death of Gideon, the children of Israel again went after the gods of Canaan and were false to the Lord, and made Baal Bareth their god. And the children of Israel did not keep in their minds the Lord their god, who had been their savior from all their haters on every side. And they were not kind to the house of Jeroboam, that is, Gideon, 
in reward for all the good he had done to Israel.